Hi folks, my name is Ken Wiesner, and I'm making this video for two reasons. One, to get your opinions, which I'm hoping to get in the comments, and two, to show people the difference between a cool or normal bodybuilder as opposed to a epic loser bodybuilder. Now I'll show you the difference. A normal or cool guy, I'm not claiming to be cool, but I'm claiming to be fairly normal. You know, I'm six foot five, I'm 280 pounds, I've been training for 30 years. He carries himself like a normal person. Yeah, he's a little bit of a bigger guy, but he carries himself like a normal person. Now, when you're an epic loser bodybuilder, this is what happens. Bang, bang. All of a sudden, your arms are held out like this, your chest is popped out, and your voice gets a little bit deeper, and then all of a sudden you get this mean look in your face. And it's like, hey, I'm a tough guy. Right? That's an epic loser bodybuilder, as opposed to a normal one. Now, Arnold Schwarzenegger, one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, never walked like that in public ever in his life. The only time that he walked around like this is when he was doing movies like The Terminator or if he was on stage doing a competition. And you know what? Some guys will even take it one step further. They'll wear a baseball cap. Now, you know what? A baseball cap on its own in the gym is not a big deal. Maybe they've got long hair or maybe they're insecure about their bald head. That's okay. But they'll take it one step further by wearing their baseball cap like this. And besides the fact that they look like they should have a propeller on top of it, they're like, hey man, I'm a tough guy bodybuilder. Like, can you get any more redneck loser than that? So, you know, guys, lose the hat, lose the attitude, and be cool. All right? Now, Another thing about, you know, doing things like uh, wearing your baseball cap uh, sideways like this, not only do you look like an epic loser bodybuilder, but you also look like a freaking pedophile. Because why would you dress like a 13-year-old kid? Because you're probably trying to attract 13-year-old girls. You freak. Be normal. Be respectful. Bring a, be a, bring a good image back to the bodybuilding of, of uh, BC Canada. And be normal. It's that easy. Now, guys and girls, I'd like to get your opinions. Comment in the bo in the uh, comments below. Let me know what you think. And do you agree that you know when you're 270 pounds, there is absolutely no reason to puff out your chest and flex your lats, talk like this, get a mean look in your face? Because I want to know, girls, do you really find this attractive? Does this really seem really cool? I kind of get the feeling it's not. So let me know. Give me your comments, and thanks a lot for watching. Before I finish this video, I want to take a minute to mention three of the most coolest, normal, but coolest bodybuilders of all time, in my opinion. First, I'm going to mention Arnold Schwarzenegger. He never walked around like this, but he brought a lot of character. He was a cocky bastard in his 20s, but he still had a really cool character, and he brought some awesome character and an incredible look to bodybuilding. Second, I'm going to mention Lou Ferrigno, six foot five, like myself, massive bodybuilder. I'm not quite that big, obviously, but very humble, very nice guy, and furthest thing in the world from arrogant. Great guy. Now, third, but definitely in my books, number one by far, Rachel McLeish. She was the first ever Miss Olympia, the first ever female world-class bodybuilder. 58 going on to 59 years old today and still even this day she was by far the most beautiful woman that ever walked the face of this earth. No, I don't have a crush on her. Well, maybe I do a little bit. But anyway, she brought an incredible image to the female side of bodybuilding and she held on to it for all her life. Thanks for the three of you, Arnold, Lou, and Rachel McLeish. Thank you very much for bringing such an awesome, incredible image to the world of bodybuilding. I only wish that it wasn't tainted today by people that walk around like this. <laughs>